YouTube, what's up? Stanley Merklin here, I live there for I am, and today I want to talk about Latin anatomy. So, just before I start this video, I want to clarify something. That being that, in this series, I'm only going to be talking about the exercises that optimally develop the muscle group that I'm talking about. So, what I mean by this is that I'm not going to be saying whether an exercise is inherently good or bad, because realistically that's kind of all subjective, although there are some exceptions, and I'll probably make a video on that later on, but forget about that. Anyways, so I just want to say that if I don't bring up an exercise and, for example, let's take the bench press and the chest video I just made. Now, the bench press is a great exercise, don't get me wrong, I bench press three times a week myself, but the bench press is not the best exercise for chest development. So you see what I'm saying there? The difference between exercise that's a good and exercise that develops a muscle group optimally. So that's the distinction I wanted to make just before I got into the rest of the series. All right, so the lats. So the lats, also known as the latissimus dorsi, have four ports of origin. Those being the vertebral column, both the thoracic and the lumbar spine, the sacrum, the ilium, and also the ribs. And the lats insert on the humerus. Okay, so now let's talk about the function of the lats. The lats have a lot of functions, but I'm only really gonna talk about four functions. Those functions being shoulder adduction, so if you bring your arm out and down like this, shoulder extension, so when you bring your arm back like this, transverse extension, you bring your arm up and back, and internal rotation when you bring your arm, the humerus, or you bring your shoulder in like this. So, now that we know the functions of the lats, what is the best way to go about training the lats? Now, if we look at these functions of latissimus dorsi, you notice that there are two types of pulling both vertical pulls and horizontal pulls. Now, you may be wondering which of these is better to train the lats. Now, when it comes to the lats specifically, not the whole back, but the latissimus dorsi themselves, the best way to develop the lats is through vertical pulling. Now, why might this be? If you look at the muscle fibers of the lats, the majority of the fibers are positioned in a way that goes down. There's a small position, there's a small portion of the lats that are oriented horizontally, as I outlined right here. Now these horizontal fibers right here are the fibers that are going to be stimulated during horizontal pulling. Now obviously a muscle either contracts or it doesn't, but you can put greatest, but we know that you can put a greater emphasis on greater portions of certain muscles. So what is the only way to take the majority of the lat fibers, the ones that are oriented in a downward vertical position through their full range of motion, vertical pulse, through shoulder adduction, lats full extension, full contraction. So what might be some great exercises? On the top of the list, in my opinion, would be pull-ups, and if you can do them, weighted pull-ups. Next, underneath weighted pull-ups, we have all sorts of cable pull-downs, uh, lat pull-downs, any sort of pull-down. And then last on the list, we have straight arm push down. So when you put your arms straight out and you bring the bar down like this, that would be a great isolation movement for the lats. So that's the video, guys. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And once again, my name is Stanley Merklin. This is I Lift There for M, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ready, aim, fire.